You were renting an apartment owned by your father. A son's heart-to-heart -heart backfires. My job was cutting my hours. I was venting to him. He just blew up at me. I'm sorry. And instead of a pep talk, he got an eviction. Now, how did that escalate into a fight? I told him that I wanted to put my two weeks in for my job. He literally lifted me out of the apartment and threw me out. Judge Judy. Mr. Slayton, this is your father, is that right? Yes, ma'am. How old are you? I'm 21. How long have you been living on your own? Since October 1st of last year. Do you work? Yes, ma'am. Who do you work for? I'm an employee at Lee's Famous Chicken. Have you been working there long? Yes, ma'am, since February of earlier this year. You were renting an apartment that is owned by your father? Yes, ma'am. In a building that's owned by your father? Is yes, ma'am. right? Yes, that is correct. How large an apartment? It was two bedrooms, a living room, and a kitchen. How many people were in your apartment? Just two, me and my roommate. And how much was your father charging you in rent? $200 each for me and my roommate. Is that pretty reasonable rent? Yes, of course. You had some sort of an argument with your father. Were you paying your rent? Yes, ma'am. I was paying my rent. What was the Not argument me. about? Basically, on the day that... I, I don't want to hear basically. Sorry about I that. want to hear what the argument was about. You're working, I... you're paying your rent, you're living in the house, your father gave you a break on the rent, you and your roommate. What could be the argument? I texted him on the day of September 4th telling him that my job was cutting my hours and I was upset, I was venting to him, and he just blew up at me. I was just telling him that my job had too many un... had too many... I'm sorry. My hours kept on getting cut. Days that I would go in, hours would just... I'm sorry. So, the day of the event, I was texting my father. I told him I didn't like the way that my hours were being set up. On the day-to-day -day basis, my hours were go from 9 to 8. So you were complaining to him? And... Yes, ma'am. And when I texted him, I was saying that I didn't like the way that my hours were being cut. Some days I had, I had a full... Okay, good. Your father wasn't your boss. You were just complaining to him. Yes, ma'am. 20 years old or 21 years old, and you were complaining to your father. Yes. And he was, what you're going to tell me, he was less than sympathetic. Yes, ma'am. He said, get another job. Yes. He told me that I should get about two or three jobs to support the house, which I am not against at all. I was just... No, no, no. So he said to you, get two or three jobs. If you need two or three jobs, you're not working a full day here, get another job. So that bothered you because he wasn't being sympathetic enough. Now, how did that escalate into a fight? It escalated because when I was trying to tell him about I don't care the... what you were trying to tell him. Okay. I want to know what you said to him and what he said to you. I told him that I wanted to put my two weeks in for my job. Now, prior to that, my store just, owner... Just a second. I don't want to get into your store owner. It has nothing to do with me or this case. I understand. So you said to your father, I want to put in my two weeks notice to this job. Yes, I did. And your father didn't agree with that. No, ma'am. I want to know how that escalated into the argument that resulted in you being taken away by the police. Well, in the event that I told him that I wanted to put my two weeks in for my job, he told me that I would have to get about two or three jobs, and I told you that I understood that. Um, it escalated because I didn't want to live there if he was just going to keep on holding those things over my head. Holding um, what over your head? The fact that he was using the fact that I was um, renting the apartment from him. Uh, I'm sorry. It's just... I'm trying to get everything together. I'm sorry. I'm not rushing you. I know, I know. It's just... It... Okay. I was telling him that... Okay. Mr. Slayton, you're gonna stop, okay? And I'm gonna ask you some more direct questions. Okay.